Hello everyone, welcome to the video on awareness on diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus is commonly known as sugar disease and it is most common in many of the countries. Let us understand the word diabetes mellitus. Diabetes means passing through, mellitus means sweet urine. So literally diabetes mellitus means passing through sweet urine. The sweet is because of glucose. So in diabetes mellitus, patients will pass glucose through their urine. Why is this happening? Let us understand in detail. Now the major sign of diabetes mellitus is hyperglycemia. Hyper means excessive, glyc means glucose, emia means blood. So what does it mean? It means there is excess amount of glucose is present in the blood. Then what is normal amounts are? The normal amounts of glucose in the blood is 90 to 120 milligrams of glucose per deciliter. It means deciliter means 100 ml. So when you draw 100 ml of blood from the body, it should contain 90 to 120 milligrams of glucose. Why is this glucose is required? Glucose provides energy. We take 60 to 70 percent of carbohydrate in a day. All this carbohydrate is digested to give glucose. That glucose gets into the blood. Now all the time you need to have certain amount of glucose in the blood because from the blood glucose is delivered to all the cells, tissues and especially to the brain. Now in order to pass glucose from the blood to skeletal muscle, you need help of a hormone known as insulin. If insulin levels are reduced, passage of glucose from the blood to cells, especially skeletal muscle is reduced. This results in excessive amount of glucose in the blood. That condition is what we call it as hyperglycemia. Now, diabetes mellitus, there are two major types are there. Type 1 is called as genetic diabetes mellitus in which the insulin secretion is not there. See, insulin is secreted from a gland known as pancreatic gland. In certain people, because of certain genetic problems or autoimmune problems, pancreas will not secrete insulin. For such patients, the only treatment is directly giving insulin. But only 10% of the cases falls under type 1. Whereas type 2 is known as lifestyle diabetes mellitus. The reason why it is called as lifestyle is it occurs because of obesity or because of bad eating habits or sedentary lifestyle or not doing any exercise. Because of all these factors, people will get diabetes mellitus. This is known as type 2 diabetes mellitus. And 90% of the diabetes cases belongs to type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this, what happens is either insulin release is reduced, insulin secretion is reduced or cells become resistant to insulin. So what happens when there is insulin sufficient quantities or cells are responsive to insulin, then only glucose from the blood gets into skeletal muscles. If insulin levels are reduced or cells become resistant, glucose is not getting into skeletal muscle, it is staying in the blood and that is what increases glucose level, sugar levels. This is called as hyperglycemia. Now what happens with this, blood is containing more amount of glucose. Blood gets into kidney to get purified. So from in the kidney, from the blood, glucose gets into urinary tract. So in the urine, excess glucose will be there. This is the reason why it has got the name diabetes mellitus, passing sweet urine. Now, when glucose levels are more in the urinary tract or in urine, the osmotic gradient increases and it attracts a lot of fluid to that urinary tract. Means urine volume is increased because of the presence of glucose. So when urine volume is increased, frequent urination will be there. This is called as polyuria. Poly multiple times urea means urination. Now what happens with this? Excessive urine is passing through the body. Along with that, water and glucose are being lost from the body. When water is lost from the body, body undergoes dehydration. So people tend to take a lot of water. This condition is called as polydipsia. Poly multiple times dipsia means to drink. Now along with water, glucose is also going out of the body. What is the job of glucose? To provide energy to the human body. If glucose is being lost from the body, people tend to feel hungry, appetite is increased. So they tend to eat a lot of food. That is called as polyphagia. These three are the major symptoms of diabetes mellitus. Polyuria, excessive urination. Polydipsia, excessive drinking of water. Polyphagia, excessive eating. If someone has got sudden weight loss or, or feeling tired, or excessive urination is there, they should check for diabetes mellitus. How it is checked? It is checked with the glucose levels in the blood. Usually it can be checked postprandial or, or fasting blood sugars it is known as. Fasting blood sugar means early morning without taking food if you go and give the blood, the, the glucose level should be between 90 to 120 milligrams by deciliter. Or after taking food it should not be more than 200 milligrams per 
deciliter. But the best test is HB1 AC test. That is the best measure to check the glucose levels. So this is about glucose, uh, I'm sorry, this is about diabetes mellitus signs and symptoms. Now the best way to prevent is to have an active life, doing regular exercises, having an active life, avoiding obesity, especially abdominal fat is the major cause for diabetes mellitus. And then having good eating practices, taking millets, green leafy vegetables, reducing processed carbohydrates. This will prevent diabetes mellitus. Thank you for watching this video.